Hello everyone, my name is Queen Ang. I'm nine years old. I'm studying at Bingwen Two Primary School at Nyashan City, Kanua Province. Very pleased to meet you guys here today. We often hear about the harmful effects of electronic devices, such as addiction to games or causing eye diseases. However, with the development of technology, people are getting much closer to electronic devices. But which ones should students have? Today, I will introduce the devices that are considered the most useful for students. Let's explore together. Personally, I will put computers on top of the list. When online learning is becoming more and more popular, owning a laptop or a PC is a norm for most students. So, how can computers help students learning? First, students can look up extra materials to support their learning. In addition to self-learning on the internet, students can take online classes via Zoom or Google Meet. It's fine to use an iPad or a phone, but it's more convenient with a computer. With bigger screens, computers enables us to follow the lessons better. Besides, computers allow us to use Word or PowerPoint to support our learning and gain our IT skills. Things are much easier with a computer, including creating our own mind maps and posters for our projects. Besides computers, a smartwatch is also another worth using device for students. Do you have one? Here's mine. If you need to contact your parents instead of a phone, I highly recommend a smartwatch. They are quite similar, but the functions of a phone, like playing games or chatting, can distract us from studying. A smartwatch is enough for us to contact our parents, help them locate our places, and see the time. Also, a smartwatch has. Many other apps like Spotify, which is familiar for music lovers, and alarm clock, which is a must-have for students. Those are enough for our needs. In short, although most parents buy phones for their children, I still believe that it's more suitable for students to own a little smartwatch. Next, regarding reading devices, if your budget is low and can't afford a bunch of books. An e-reader is definitely a worthy choice. An e-reader is thought to be expensive at first, but considering the number of books that you can have, you won't regret buying it. Besides, reading book in dim light can harm the eyes, but an e-reader can solve this light problem. Last week, I got a new Kindle from my mom because I got a big prize, and it has made a change. For my reading habit, all in all, using electronic devices wisely is essential for us in the technology and loving world. Even students can benefit a lot. However, be mindful of how long you spend on screens. Use apps that track your screen time to prevent eye strain. And remember, technology is wonderful. But don't don't forget about real world experiences, because this is real life. Live your life. Spend time with family and friends and enjoy outdoor activities. This can let us stay connected and maintain our well being. So this is the end of my presentation. Goodbye and thank you for listening.